Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to a Challenger Spectate. Now, today we are watching currently the rank one player for Gwen on EU West. In the world, they're actually rank two. The best Gwen player is in Korea. Um, but uh, if you want to know the stats of this player, it's a little bit mad. So they're currently a master. So you'll be like, oh, not a challenger player, Huz. No, but they have 95 games of Gwen with a 75% win rate. Just to put in perspective, they also have 90 games of Lee Sin. So it's not like a one-trick Gwen, but yeah. So 95 games of Gwen, 75% win rate. 90 games of Lee Sin, 54% win rate. So maybe does show how strong Gwen is as a, as a champion. Uh, it's a little bit crazy. Thank you much, Shishimi. Again, I am recording this on my actual birthday, prepping content for you guys uh, on the YouTube channel for when I'm away on a little trip later this week. Uh, so hopefully you guys appreciate that, that I am still working hard on my birthday. I know that's the normal whenever people have birthdays, you know, you're still in work in the end of the day. Um, it's just this happens to be my job. Thank you much, League of Medj. Uh, but yeah, Gwen is quite a controversial champion and you might be like we're also watching her in the jungle so yes we are watching gwen jungle because that does seem to be where gwen is starting to go i actually had i think one earlier today but she went ghost i don't remember if you won that game or not uh it might have been the game we lost on blitzcrank maybe it was that game i don't remember but yeah like i don't think ghost is needed i think go flash um i don't actually think gwen is a great ghost champion anyway but um yeah, so she's going jungle. Her ganks aren't brilliant, but it's more just she does so much damage that she, yeah, relying off other people to have CC for her. So, like, in this game, top playing Viego, he's got a stun with W. Anivia obviously has her slows and stuns. Varus has got his ulti. So every single lane that Gwen can gank, there is a form of CC that, you know, Gwen herself doesn't technically need. Um, obviously it's always useful, but it's not 100% needed. Um, well, yeah, no, Gwen does go... That's not for jungle. Uh, the meta at the moment is TP Ignite on lane champions. Uh, Gwen is one of those, Camille is one of those, Akali is one of those, but that's not for jungle. Um, but yeah. TP Ghost meta, though, is quite prevalent in the game right now, though. Uh, for lane, at least. Uh, but on the enemy team, worth knowing, a Poppy top lane with Ignite. So quite aggressive for Poppy. Uh, Xin Zhao, also one of the strongest junglers in the game right now since his mini rework. Quite good. Uh, Silas, the pickle... I was going to do either a Gwen game or a Silas game just to show you how kind of dumb uh, uh, Silas is. He right now is pickle ban. Uh, you will see him in basically every single game in Challenger or Master and above. Every single game that he is not banned, he will be picked. Every single one. Um, he is just a bit silly. But, you know, you can see that the clear time, by the way, for Gwen is fast. I don't think the Zin has ganked yet. And you can see here, obviously, a bit of a spoiler. Gwen is already 9 farm ahead. Obviously, you get 4 per camp. But she is just so much faster than this Zin. She's still full health, and she's also full mana. So she could keep going. She doesn't have to go back. She could gank right now, but she's not going to. Because, to be honest, there's not really anywhere major that she can go. Maybe mid lane? But then you can see over here, the Anivia is out of mana. So is there, there's not a big point to even gank that, because you're... Your lane partner is out of mana. They can't really do that much. So yeah, she just decided to go back. Is picking up uh, a Dark Seal and a Amp Tome. So having, I, you know, some people agree, some people disagree. I find champions that go Dark Seal quite early, you're fairly confident you're going to get quite fed. Like, But back in the day, Dark Seal was a really good, not just a snowball item, and somehow she ends up getting a kill that Nivea. I don't even know how that's possible. She had, like, no mana, but she survived. She's running Ignite Flash, by the way, so she did, I guess, burst the Silas down. Um, but, yeah, so before it used to uh, increase how much your health potions heal. It doesn't do that anymore. Dark Seal is all about, like, just pure snowballing AP stacks. So if you're not that confident that you're going to get stacks, it's really not that useful. Um, so that's where you'll see Gwen's buy it, Silas's buy it, Evelyn's buy it. Because the champions are just very strong, you are likely to get quite fed. Uh, just by how strong the champions are. So what I am quite impressed with is not really... Again, you can see, there's not really any early ganks for Gwen. I'm not too surprised, if I'm honest. She doesn't have great ganks, as I mentioned. But her clear time is very fast. She's on her way top lane. Poppy just flashes straight away. 
She just doesn't want anything of it. But yeah. Uh, Vixie is saying, like, it is gold efficient. It is kind of gold efficient, but I I don't know. I probably still think it's pretty cocky. Uh, enemy team going very all in. This is arguably quite bad for them, I will say. They're on the back foot. But, well, they're in the wrong territory. The only thing is there's no Anivia going to roam, so maybe it's okay. But, yeah... Uh, so bot lane doing quite well. Varus Soraka quite a poke intense lane versus Ezreal Janna. I wouldn't put Ezreal Janna completely together if I'm honest. Meanwhile, Zin's trying to counter jungle. So this could go really bad for blue team at any moment. Janna is top lane. Yep, the support from bot lane is top. Which is a little bit, I don't know. That is maybe a bit more high rating tendencies that you sometimes do see the support. Just walk to top lane and be like, hi. Uh, which obviously doesn't help really the Ezreal, but you can see his farm is fine. Ezreal, arguably, I would say, is the best AD carry to leave alone in bot lane. He has so much mobility and can kind of just poke away with his Q. Um, but yeah, he'll be generally okay. It, it's very bad if an Ezreal ends up dead when his support is roaming, because you should be able to survive. Um, so Zin's bot lane, big gank potentially coming for the enemy team. Thanks, Reiner dude. Appreciate it, bud. Uh, Varus flashing gets out of the way. Soraka gonna get the knock up. She flashes late. That's again bad play. That that right there is just bad play by Soraka. She just should have flashed early. Uh, by the way, Viego top lane teleporting in. Look at the burst that's just in League of Legends in modern day. Again, there's too much damage in this game. The balance team have lost their minds because legit people just get one shot all the time. I don't know if it, this if if this video is gonna be before or after. Uh, there will be a Kazix. Uh, game uploaded uh, from unranked to diamond but in a replay version that game will show how much early damage that uh, early damage is in league it is ridiculous it is stupid how much damage is in league nowadays you know even at like level three it's weird anyway gwen's doing a double clear which i actually didn't realize you could actually do on gwen but she's positioned it perfectly so she's clearing both of them at the same time talk about being optimized that's really nice and, uh, yeah, just not really ganking. You know, that's the thing. There's the big top lane play. Nothing actually happened with it, you know. Si uh, Viego's died um, from not even top lane. So all of that top lane stuff, nothing happened. But meanwhile, bot lane, they do get a Janna kill. Zin is still bot lane, though. We'll pick up the Varus kill. He goes down. Soraka almost died as well. And Gwen, at this point in time, is still farming. So you might be like, why did you pick this game, Huz? Like, nothing seems to be happening. Just reminding everyone that Gwen is not really an early game champion. Like, yes, I have seen Gwen's in top lane win early games, but she's more designed for mid to even late game. Um, so don't expect wonders at the moment with Gwen. Expect it to happen a little bit later. So Poppy is right there. I was expecting, is this going to go bad? And Poppy engaging. Uh, Gwen ulties. Nearly dead. Does get the smite on it. Look at the damage. And Poppy's dead. Uh, and gonna just continue the rift. And by the way, yes, Janna was there again. So this Janna is roaming a lot, which I guess is normal Janna. But uh, unfortunate for Poppy that she didn't get that kill. Like, holy moly. And uh, Gwen will walk away. Level 7, by the way, already. Uh, which is not bad going. And continuing the power farming. She's slowly starting to build that farm lead over the Zin. But obviously the Zin's doing okay. The Zin is 102. Farm isn't too bad. Uh, not really far behind. But obviously that Rift Herald, that can be some like really high value in the early game. If you go top or mid or wherever you're going to go with it, get two, three tower plates. That's a decent chunk of change that you're getting from it as well. So I would expect we want to, we'll see Gwen use that pretty soon. I don't think she'll hold on to it forever. Uh, by the way, Zin was bot lane again. Uh, so it does seem... You know, some uh, junglers have tendencies to camp a certain lane or whatever. This Zin may have a t tendency to go bot lane a lot. Meanwhile, mid lane, Anivia fighting the Silas. Uh, do remind everybody, um, Anivia, I, I remember ages ago when Silas was meta again because he keeps becoming meta all the time because Riot just loves him. Uh, meanwhile, Janna died, by the way, also. Um, Anivia is a counter to Silas in a way because obviously Silas wants to be on top of people it's hard to stay on top of an anivia with her with her q stun and the ulti uh, but also it's a pretty bad ulti for for silas to steal because silas does not have the mana pool to sustain anivia ult so he'll pop on an anivia ult and he'll go um very fast meanwhile 
Gwen fighting Poppy again. And look at the damage, by the way. Look at this. So Gwen having to back off because Zin's in the area. Zin going all in. Gwen is just taking the fight. Yes, Jan is here again. And they will go down with the number advantage. So this is a very heavy roaming Janna. And they're not getting punished with it. Ezreal's 3-0. and oh. Flash by Poppy. Nice flash by her. She'll survive with the shield. And there you go. So very nice. And yeah, they're doing well. So I would say pretty bad for this bot lane, the Varus and Soraka, to be losing lane as bad as they are. Oh my god, did you just see that? We literally just saw the Soraka in, like troll. The Silas Ping Soraka ult, why didn't you save me? If Soraka ulted at the right time, maybe it would have got the poppy dead. She just pressed R randomly. We legit just saw this Soraka troll. Remember, this is a master level game on EU West. It shows that trolls exist in all the ratings, which is hilarious. I like That's actually funny that we just saw this Soraka, like, rage. Oh, again, baby rages exist in every single rating. It's why people said there's no such thing as ELO Hell, it's just solo queue. That's hilarious. And it, it looks like the Soraka, she's now trying to roam, but again, Soraka isn't the best roaming champion. Um, but yeah, more clearing for the Gwen. So it's going to be hard to probably shut down this Zin. Uh, oh, scaling obviously might... Is she actually... She might have been taking farm from mid there for a second. But uh, yeah, I will say... And I know this is a, a huzzy... Uh, what's the right word? But by the way, Zin bot lane again. Hey, Carlson, bud. Appreciate it, man. Um, a huzzy... Stereotype. But enchanting support mains are so ragey. And by the way, this is a fed Zid Zhao. Look, just getting straight up destroyed. Oh, keep attacking. Look at the healing! Look, you literally saw with the Omni Vamp of Riftmaker, Gwen's health bar just go up. Oh my god. I think she did get healed by Soraka, but it was after the ulti got the healing. That was mad. Thanks, Abyss. Appreciate it. Wow. And again, that's a fed Zin Zhao just getting kind of destroyed. You would have thought that this Zin would have maybe owned the Gwen, like, pretty quick. But, nope. Just, just, just nope. I'm also going to turn on my air conditioning. Hopefully you guys don't mind. It's getting very warm in the room without having that on. So, if you hear it in the background, hopefully it's fine. But there we go. Uh, Prowler's Claw, by the way. I know some people may question that. It is becoming popular on Lethality Champions because it just is... It's, it, it's, it's mobility. Like, mobility is broken in League. And there's, you know, think of, like, a lot of the broken items. They have mobility on it. So if you're going Lethality, that's the mobility item for it. It just is pretty good. So don't be too surprised if you are seeing some people doing that. And, yeah, and the Mythic Passive, which is more Lethality. Yeah, more Lethality. But, yeah. But you will see Varus utilize it. It is a good item for him. Because uh, he's obviously also a immobile champion. And like a little random dash can be the difference of him dying and not on an opponent. So does kind of help. Uh, top lane though. Uh, Gwen going to go top. Walking near the Lulu. Who's obviously been quite confident in this game. Gets the stun does Varus. Ignites does the Poppy. And Poppy's going to try and take the fight. And yes, Janna's here again. But again, it's not hurting bot lane. Because the Ezreal's fed. Can they get this though? They should be able to get this. Janna's up here. Again, very annoying playstyle, this Janna. Uh, obviously, it's a good playstyle, but it's like a, a little annoying B. Uh, Gwen gets... Oh, God, she gets the kill while she's flying away. And Janna being weirdly positioned, she ends up dead as well. But that's good for the Gwen. Two, one, three. Now, there's a Zin here. He is on the back foot. Can Varus ulti to give them... Oh, he doesn't have ult up. Never mind. So, again, we get the positioning of Zin with the Arcane Comet. Walking through the tower. Makes his way and makes his escape. But there we go. Ooh, crazy game so far. Again, tw uh, red team slight gold advantage, but remember blue team is the first dragon. Dragon also, you can see back here, uh, down here, 10 seconds till Infernal Dragon. I have seen some people have asked me, hey, cheer, appreciate it, Alio Chima. Some people have asked, like, where, how do I get this? Where's that from? Is that a mod? No. If you click down here at the eye that is covered by my sponsor thing, but there's interface visibility, click that. And at the bottom of this list, there's objective timers. It's that. Just click that. So you can see Gwen is not wanting to give the second dragon. She wants the dragon. Zin can't get there in time. And that was a pretty late smite as well. 
uh, but they will go and take the dragon, which is always nice. And Infernal, you know, Infernal's great. That's 4% attack damage and an ability power that the enemy team cannot catch back up. There was a pink ward in there, by the way, but nobody spotted it. Which, again, does show it does happen in higher ratings. People do miss pink wards. How's it going, Mr. Ramulas? And Gwen is going to go back to clearing. So the Zin, I would say he's done a good job keeping up with the Gwen. Because, you know, let's be honest, this clear time is pretty fast. Um, and her sustain is, well, you know, there, she, there's no damage taken in the jungle anymore in, in modern day League of Legends. Uh, having a fight, these two. But Poppy's going to walk right into the Gwen with the ulti. And... Very low health, but that will set up the Viego to finish off the kill. And literally, Gwen lands into the Krugs and is like, oh, I guess I'll farm these now. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. The Gwen is helping this Viego quite a bit. Uh, obviously, it's the aggressive Poppy going the, the Vine Sunderer, also igniting lane. Arguably, I'd say a Poppy might win that 1v1. Um, but maybe a Viego would outscale later with a lot of items. That is a weird base, by the way. Look. There is no vision here. She's just basing. She could get complete... Like, they could be here. She could get caught. She just doesn't... Doesn't care. Very weird. Uh, plated Steel Cap Boot, by the way. Phoenix Codex. And another Amp Tome. Um, mid Tower dead. That's pretty good. Uh, Silas, for some reason, is top lane now. And this game's calming down, I'd say, a little bit. Uh, oh, Jan again, this Janna has had a very odd playstyle this game. Nearly dies. The heal from Ezreal saved the Janna there. Hey, Nessie. Very close to kill that Janna. Very aggressive playstyle. Like, she's 0-3, so she's not uh, had a great game. That Ezreal damage, man. It's just absolutely mad. Woof. Well, yeah, again, Anivia's a, a natural counter. Oh, Zin, good heal by Soraka. Will Zin get the kill? I may... Oh, no, he's going to get chain CC'd. He's flashing away, which is a really weird flash. Because I think he's dead anyway. Poppy, by the way, is here, who, remember, is the top laner. Shut down on the Viego. The Silas gets the kill, even though the Silas has had a bad... Oh, bad flash by Gwen. Um, even though the Silas has had a bad game, uh, it's Silas. The champ is still busted, so just doesn't matter. Gwen going to go aggressive. She doesn't like that. You know, that was a bad flash on the wrong side of the blasting. But she might find the Ezreal. He does have mobility, so this isn't going to be a free kill. Oh, she's opening. Oh, the enemy team. What are they doing? Very low health. Zin just dies to the Anivia. Gwen just obliterates the Ezreal. Double kill for the Gwen. God, I would say it just feels a little bit like the enemy team is playing a bit desperate. Like, why did the Janna and Zin stay at that health? Like, obviously, it was just to get, like, a little cheeky kill on a Varus or something. But, man, like, that they should have known that was easy to backfire, and it did completely. So, again, the Anivia's doing good. I have heard some people say, like, in the meta right now of mages not really belonging in mid. Meanwhile, Poppy, by the way, is trying to fight. Look how squishy she is. Oh, the W by Gwen blocked the Poppy ultimate. God. But, yeah, this Poppy is starting to die a lot. Um, but, yeah, in the meta of mages don't really belong in mid lane anymore... Uh, and Nivea might be okay. Like, there's been a couple. Malzahar arguably is good, but he's getting nerfed because Riot hate mages. Um, also, Nivea, I have heard, can work because, think about it, she has an anti-burst kind of passive that if they kill her, but she's under tower, she goes in egg form, so she might be able to survive. But she's also good at, against melee champions because she has the big AoE ulti that's like, you stay away from me. I'll be back here. I can wave clear mid lane really fast. So maybe, maybe Anivia can actually still work. Possibly. Uh, appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it, Azticus. Appreciate it. Uh, so um, Crab and then second Rift Herald. So what I like about the Gwen, she didn't really risk anything in the early game because she knows that's not her champion's strength. She just power farmed, had an okay... This Poppy is mad aggressive. Um, but she had an okay early game. She didn't go for the first dragon, but she went for the first Rift Hold instead. She got that. She then went for the second dragon, so she's starting to feel a bit stronger. And she's then going for the second Gwen. Like, it's good confidence. Um, Silas, sorry, Gwen interrupts the Silas. Enemy team, look at this, look at this damage. Gwen is just not dying. She tanked so much of the enemy team's damage then. Like, literally three champions are just hitting her. And she's like, lol, I'm full AP, but I won't die. Obviously, there was a little bit of Soraka healing mixed up in there. But, like, that is just nuts. 
killing spree for the Anivia, who, by the way, has upgraded her Dark Seal to a Magi, which I would say it's a little bit rare to see an Anivia by a Magi, but she is. Uh, I hope you're good, Nessie. Uh, Dragon, by the way, is up in 10 seconds. No, it's up now, Mountain Dragon. Uh, so, that, yeah, Gwen heading back over there. Nivia's already there. You can see Zin isn't contesting it because he can't. And by the way, Gwen, she, just, she did just have a two-level advantage. She now only has a level one level because Zin just leveled up. But it does show how, you know, good this Gwen is doing. Uh, Cosmic, by the way, second item. Oh, here we go. And Zin, look at the damage. Walking straight in. And the Zin within the Gwen ulti has no chance. And it didn't even look like the Gwen took much damage. Silas also in trouble. Oh, is he going to go down? The mobility of Gwen. Is she going to catch up? Maybe. No. That was so close. But she's tanking a tier 2 tower at this stage in the game. Like it's nothing. Which is mad. Doesn't care for the Janna damage. Ezra. Oh, Poppy Flash. And she is going to go down now. Surely she's going to go down. Surely Gwen is dead. Any moment she's dead, she's not dead. She's not dead. Right, okay. Good healing by Soraka, obviously, but that's a bit crazy. Uh, enemy team looking aggro. Oh, very low. Gwen's going to come back into the fight. Uh, Gwen on the back foot now. Ezra quite low. She's going to go for the damage. Needs that Omni Vamp starting to churn up. Silas now by himself. Janna flashes on the wall. Ezra flashes over the wall. Or ease over the wall and then flashes for the Soraka and they end up dead. This game is nuts. Nessie, thank you very much for the gifted sub over to your mobile phone account, you pleb. Appreciate it, appreciate it. This game is nutty. Absolutely nutty. Meanwhile, Viego this whole time has just been sitting top lane. Like, yo, what's up? I'm top lane. I'm having fun. Has completed his cull though, so that's good. And Gwen, yeah, so Cosmic Drive second item, all for that movement speed. And ability power. And then I presume it's going to be Zonya's for the third item. Because, um, yeah, Zonya's does seem quite good on a all-in melee champion. Can kind of save your life a few times here or there. What, what I'm actually... I appreciate I just woke up. What I'm actually finding a bit surprising in what this is a very high rating game. The Poppy. The Poppy is 1 and 6. Are you seeing any sign of this Poppy slowing down? Or thinking a little bit more before she engages? No. She is just straight in, I am going in no matter what. And that is obviously why she's 1 and 6. But, yeah. It's a little bit crazy. Um, Rift Tail probably should be used soon. It's going to time out in the near future. She's probably got about 30 seconds or so of it left. So she's asked to do Baron. So she's pinged Baron, by the way. And she's probably going to spawn Rift Herald top. So this might be a play to, like, distract them with Rift Herald. And then go try to do the Baron. Platt with a gifty subby. Thank you much, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. She has to use it soon. It's going to time out if she's not careful. If she takes a big, long fight with this um, Silas, it might time out. Uh, Platt as well with another gifty sub. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So there's the Rift Herald spawn. She's looking to fight. The Here we go. Big fight. Gwen ulti used by both champions because he stole it. Gwen uh, Silas healing. 1v2. Gets one kill. Second. On now the Zin. Can the Zin finish her off? Look at the Soraka heal. With them, the Omni Vamp. Nearly gets the kill, does the Gwen. She does go down in the end, but then Viego picks it up. <coughs> After. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My throat's really dry. <coughs> and talking a lot with a dry throat. Oh. I just had a coughing fit, sorry. Alright, so that was that. The Rift Herald, though, did its job. Broke the tier 2. And now look at the positioning. The positioning. Where's the enemy team? Where's the enemy bot lane? Nowhere to be seen. And boom, the base has been broken. That is really bad by blue team. Lovely wall by Anivia. Completely stops any form of like chasing them. And Varus is just chilling in mid. So that again, that was the Gwen making that play kind of happen. Maybe her team should have been a little bit closer. She did ping kind of like, yo, let's do this type of idea. No one was there though. Uh, Mal Nightingale, thank you so much for the 47 months resub. Says, happy birthday, Huzzy. Thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, so Gwen is unhappy that Varus is taking the blue, by the way. So I, maybe he won't take it. He didn't take it in the end. But there we go. Uh, Zonya's complete by the Gwen, by the way. Um, so a little bit has that safety net. Also, you know, the increased armor is never a bad thing against a Zin, Ezreal, arguably even the Poppy with Divine. She'll be doing more auto damage, etc. than you'd expect. And yeah, the clear time for Gwen is still really strong. 
I, I am still, I would say, somewhat impressed with the Zin has managed to keep, you know, a 20, it's only a 20 gap. That's not that bad. I actually may have expected Gwen to have a bigger gap, but obviously Zin himself, one of the... Ooh, Janna positioning is a bit weird. Uh, yeah, Zin himself is one of the strongest junglers in the game as well, so maybe not too surprising. Uh, Dragon spawning in 20 seconds. Uh, sorry, 8 seconds. I keep doing the wrong one. 5 seconds. It's another man. Oh, here we go. Enemy team walking in. Gwen damage with the Anivia damage, and they're just going to get instantly bursted. One kill each. Viego bursts the Janna. And that right there, yep, that's going to give you the dragon. And lo and behold, the Silas is split pushing top lane. <laughs> Which is a little bit weird. Uh, Snacker, 356, same as you for the four months with Prime. But yeah, I think most of us already this game, you can kind of see like Gwen is just, she just naturally looks and feels strong. Do I think Gwen is hard to play? I don't think she's really hard to play, but I don't think she's really free at the same time. And yeah, uh, Soraka Warmogs, by the way. That is a build, especially with the Warmog's change. That the... Alright then, so you don't hear that very often. Hellcrow with the 10,000 biddy United States of Smash. Holy moly, thank you so much, dude. That is absolutely mad. He said, happy birthday. Thank you. Like, what the hell? Thank you very much. That is, if anyone's wondering, that is the highest biddy alert that we have. 10,000. And, uh, yeah, we don't get to hear that much to be expected. Uh, it's absolutely mad. Thank you so much. That is very generous. Wow. Holy moly. Um, anyway, again, I have to get my mind back in commentary mode. Gwen continuing to clear. That is one thing I do want to make people, like, very, you know, if you are looking to become a better jungler, what is something you can take from this game? This Gwen is never stopping for 1v2 situation. What can she do? She's going to get chain CC'd and she's probably just going to end up dead. So that was quite bad. Like she did take a 2v1, ends up dead. So that's a bit cocky. Uh, but the one thing, again, make it clear, she is always farming. Every single time that she's going somewhere to achieve something, she is farming in between. That is why she's got 214 farm at 27 minutes. That's pretty good. So that is something that you yourself can take this game is that you can take. Oh, I should constantly be farming. Yes, you should. Um, remember these camps at the moment, I think, is it two minutes, 15 seconds or two minutes, 30? I can't. It's one of the two that these camps have a spree spawn timer on. So in theory, if you're playing a strong jungler that can clear the whole thing in less than two minutes, 15, let's say they can clear it in a minute, 30 or two minutes at this stage of the game. Or even earlier, obviously, uh, you clear it. You, that the, then the, the 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 timer of the like the gap of when things are going to start spawning again. That's your gank window. So yeah. All right. So big play in bot lane happening. Silas looking aggressive. So he, you know Silas has recovered his game because let's be honest, it's a Silas, and Anivia is going to go down with a passive in the end. A little bit of overstay, unfortunately, happening. And uh, Baron is being called. So Gwen straight on the Baron. Enemy team, I think, do know about this. Varus is on his way as well. Haven't seen the Varus helping too much, I would say, this game. He's been a little bit of a lone warrior. They should get off this Baron. Good timed Varus ult. Gwen going aggressive. Silas has stolen the Soraka ultimate, which he is using. Burst coming in. Gwen does go down, but Varus gets a double kill. And you can see just... Si Look at Silas, man. This champion. So we were going to do a Silas episode. We didn't. This guy played bad. All he did was power farm. He's power farmed his way back into the game. And because he's Silas, he's doing a million damage. And heals a million as well. Because he's Silas. Baron is being done. You can see the animations happening. Uh, Viego... Is teleporting. We can't see it, but he is. There we go. And can they stop this being done? Might be bad for the enemy team, this, actually. Look at the health. Very low health. Viego going to go for the Ezreal. Misses the ultimate. That's quite clutch. Will pick up the kill. Then he can get the reset. With then the other ult into the Silas. Never mind. He can he chain CC. Silas W heal. Viego on the back foot here. Soraka trying to do as much ambulance Ninor work as she can do. Poppy I'm not going to die. Viego does survive. <coughs> My throat is dying. Poppy going to chase down the Silas, which is really good for her. And boom, with the big ulti. And that now should be Baron for red team. So, you know, it, there's a bunch of bro broken champions in the game right now. A few are in this game. Silas, sure. But also Viego. So, uh, yeah, he's in this game. And uh, let's be honest. I'm going to be a little bit honest. 
They're not going to make Viego weak anytime soon, considering the big event that's about to happen is all about Viego. They want him being played, so don't expect nerfs for Viego, really. I would be very surprised. Maybe when the event is over, they may nerf him, but not right now. Baron being done, though, very fast for red team. Uh, by the way, build update has also a Banshee's Veil. Uh, quite good. You're a melee champion. It stops a bit of CC in the early, so it's not bad. Um, Chills will, the Doctor. Thank you, man. And uh, just woke up said, uh, Huzzy has LEC caster when? I don't know. I don't know if I'd actually enjoy being a, like that type of caster because I enjoy doing both color and um, play by play. Um, obviously, when you go professional or you're doing a bit more professional, you have to choose. That's why you have two people together doing it. One does play by play. So what is happening on the screen? One does color kind of filling in the gaps of knowledge of league in the background. I kind of like doing both. Zin's going to go for the steal. Here we go. And he does get it. Nice smite steal by Zin. Will walk out. Gwen is angry. So she's going aggressive on it. And that will be that. I don't think Gwen can actually keep up. She's going to get chain CC. She's on the back foot. She will get one kill. Where was that damage? She is also going to survive. Soraka ulti comes through. And if you're ulti down, going to kill the Silas. No, he's not. Soraka gets killed somehow by Silas. And Gwen survives. Holy moly. The survival is just absolutely nuts. For what isn't a tank champion. Again, make that clear. She is not a tank. She is buying full AP items. She just doesn't die. Thank you very much, Beatrice. Appreciate it. Alright. Are we going to see a little bit of a backing off? I don't know. Uh, red buff, though, for Gwen. She's going to do that and probably get near full health by just doing that. Well, she's gained, what, about a third health already. And she's got red, so she's also going to start regening. She's going to walk her way into mid, which has already been broken. And she's going to probably try to finish off the inhib. Zin's not having it. He wants to fight. Zin three, uh, sorry, two levels down and they just can't do anything. She gets the inhib. Poppy tries to engage. Boom, snipe on the Zin. He goes down. Absolutely mad. Holy moly. Thank you very much, Air Ride. How old am I now? I'm 27. I am 27. And that looks like the game is finally coming to an end. And I can also tell you in the damage done, uh, Gwen did the most damage in the game. I'm not crazy surprised. Like, you know, the Anivia had a good game, but the Gwen just was doing so much constant damage that, yeah, Gwen maybe not do, like, the ultimate burst, but she just does constant damage, and it just adds up. So that is Gwen. Is she overpowered? Is she just strong? Let me know what you guys think. But, yes, it does seem that Gwen jungle is now becoming more of her role rather than top. God damn it. To end the video, Nessie, please, with a 3,000 Enichiko! Biddy donation. Thank you so much, dude. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the challenge spectate, or not challenge spectate, but rank one of Gwen spectate on EUS. If you did, do throw a like on it, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.